It's the OCG fam show. Can you supplement calcium with foliar feeding in a nectar for the gods grow? Let's talk about it. Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG fam show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it. So it has been quite some time, I think, since we've talked about culture biologics. And uh, we haven't forgot about culture biologics. They make uh, the instant teas. I I don't have one. I've got some over there. Anyway, you know what it is. Good stuff. We love this stuff. We just haven't been talking about it. But uh, something came up and has been bubbling along for quite some time that I want to talk to you about because it seems on the surface to be a little controversial and we know how controversy drives views. It's going to be great, but it's not really a controversy. Here's the deal. So about a thousand years ago, we did a video with Tim and he said, you know, when you're using BK, you need more calcium to uh, back up that BK, if you're using the BK, you know, you need to use the Herc, Bloom Chaos, that if you don't get enough calcium in there, you can have some issues with starvation because you're pushing so hard with the BK, the Bloom Chaos, and that you can help that by putting some foliar feeding, some calcium using Trigger, which is now called Dr. Growth. And um, when we talked to Scott later on, he's like, uh, yeah, no, you can't get enough calcium to the leaves, not happening. And it sounds like the two contradict each other. And several of you have rightly said, hey, contradiction. But, well, Scott and I talked through it on uh, one of the last or a uh, few viewer question shows back. And I think I'd like to show you that. I'd like you to watch that. It's interesting about that and also interesting about uh, some issues with Bloom Chaos. I've been going on and on and on. Just watch the video. Kevin O'Connell. Scott said foliar feeding calcium, calcium doesn't help because the point is to force the plant to draw from the soil. Does this contradict episode 212, using Dr. Growth as a foliar with Yucca, Poseidon, and Photo Plus? So, Tim was on the show, and he believes, I don't say you would say opposite, but somewhat disagrees with, with well, you know, he's got to So, point. out of all the foliar-fed elements and components you can give to a plant, calcium is by far the most least efficient uptake through a foliage mm -hmm. and through the stomata. It is too big, it cannot be, it's not mobile, so well, it's an immobile nutrient. Mm -hmm. What's in trigger, whatever the hell that is, Dr. Dr. Growth, yeah. Dr. Growth is a calcium calcite that will be available to the plant in very minute amounts. Uh -huh. I do disagree, I mean, I, I didn't contradict myself ever. No, but this is an agree to disagree, or is this a disagree? Well, <laughs> this is, and I, he's not wrong. Yeah. There is an availability, efficiently, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Available to kind of help curb that issue, certainly. The only reason why I really tell you this is because so many people want to run a synthetic nutrient base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they want to hit bloom chaos, and as long as they're foliar feeding a ton of calcium that's natural, they they're, they're going to okay. protect themselves. Yeah. And you're not. You're yeah. going to damage okay. your plants greatly by not having the uptake in the plant. The whole point of bloom chaos isn't about calcium availability in the plant. It's building cells because of accelerated growth and energy the plant is receiving from the chaos and having it in the root zone to develop the cells from being brought up with the amino acids and the calcium to make more cells. It has to come from the root zone to be efficient for the plant to build. So you, Scott Ostrander, would not use Bloom Chaos without using Herculean Harvest? Or Demeters or Aphrodite. So, I mean, if I'm not using some form of liquid calcium in our line, mm -hmm. you would not. Or I don't have a totally built soil with. I mean, I just I know what's in my soil. I know what's in one mm -hmm. shot. I know what's in our fertilizer package. So I've used Bloom Chaos many days without anything else to put in, mm -hmm. and then most times when I'm doing my nutrients. So they're not wrong. It's just don't rely on your foliar feeding calcium to do any kind of corrective, curative, fixing, or building of cells. It's just another product that goes in at a very mild, small yes. amount. Yes, and well, I, you know, I remember when we did this episode with him, and he was talking about this as a small thing, not oh, as very a very small, you know, not as a big part of the thing. It was just a, you know, and this was part not the even the main, the main thrust of the talk. This was just a little bit of a, you know, minor, minor. Point. Well, and yeah. kind of helping them because back then when that episode was aired, that was like what eight hundred episodes ago. Yeah. <laughs> was. Him teaching us about cultured products right. and us being a calcium-based nutrient line, him marketing against our line with, yeah. this has the calcium that you need. Yeah. It's not the most efficient no. calcium as a foliar feed. Now, that as a root drench would be far more efficient yeah. for the calcium delivery. 
But as a protective protector of the plant, it's better as a foliar. Well, and I would say also that, that Tim, while he may be right or wrong on some level or disagree or agree, he did a lot of growing with nectar with his stuff and built this line to work with it and yeah. did all that stuff and had success in a grow growing actual plants. Absolutely. So while he may not have the you know the the, the, the words right. The intent was there, and he did it. Oh. He knows how to, to use this stuff to work with yeah. nectar. And yeah. I would use it as a foliar for the reason why they use it as a foliar, but I wouldn't be using it as my calcium corrective piece to the line. So that's the that's the takeaway: is that we're not contradicting. It's just if grower beware. This a is new not. grower is watching this episode and said, "Oh shoot, I can use this as my calcium with bloom cast." You can't. It's not going to work. Okay. You need something in the root zone or a soil built with calcium to make sure you have available calcium. Is that help? It does not hurt one bit. What do you think of that? Helpful? Useful? Bring up more questions? Answer questions? Let's talk about it. In the comments, other stuff, whatever you got going, let me know in the comments. We'll talk. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show was pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.